Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here as always. There's been a bit of a gap between these Bionicle videos, so sorry about that. I've been doing a lot of Star Wars Day stuff this past weekend, and I'm trying to keep my videos spaced out, uh, you know, decently. Uh, but we are finally getting to the sixth Toa. Um, so last but not least, but also not last because there's a bunch of other Toa, and not least because he's the leader, we have set number 85. Three, four. This is Tahu, the Toa of Fire. Now, just like the other five, he came out in 2001 and retailed for $6.99. He has 33 pieces. If you wanted to pick this up on Bricklink, you can get him by himself. Most of the listings do have him completed, uh, and they start about $14 and go up to about $20 ish. Uh, if you want to get him sealed on Bricklink, there are four sealed listings. Uh, one from Poland is $240. The other one is Canada for $248, and the last two are both from the same seller in Germany for $270. Um, you can compare this to eBay, where most of the complete ones just by himself start at $30, and they go up from there. I saw some 30s, 40s, and I think 50 as well. There are three sealed listings on there. Uh... One is $300 with $5 shipping. The other is $340 with $10 shipping. And the last one is $350 with $15 in shipping. So you're paying a pretty penny for the eBay listings. Um, and you might have noticed these prices are quite a bit higher than most of the others. And that's simply because of nostalgia baiting. Uh, he is sort of the face of Bionicle, so he's a more well-known character. Um, so it kind of has that nostalgia tax, basically. Um, those are the stats for Tahu. Uh, let's show you some of the details and stuff. Um, just like all of the other six, he shares the same parts as they do. His build is pretty much identical to Kopaka and Liwa. And, you know, galley too. Um, the whole two arms, two legs, head thing that they all six of them have. I mean, that was a, a dumb thing to say. Of course, he's, he's a bipedal character. This is just silly. I'm getting off base here. Um, <laughs> he's built basically the same as the others, except he has uh, his shoulders, or his arms are attached side instead of on the top. Gives him sort of like a broader shoulder look. Uh, he's got this sick fire sword. He has one arm over here that is fixed in place. And he's got a hand. And he has this uh, surprised Pikachu meme face going on here. Always looks like he's angry. Rawr. Um. So there is a crack on this piece. I don't know if you guys can see it, but right down in there, that little piece that goes around the ball in that socket is cracked, which sucks because that's the only one I have in red. Um, and this leg is a little loose compared to the other one. Uh, but the design is the same. Like I said, he also has Kung Fu action. With his sword arm, uh, you don't have the option to have the other arm move because it is fixed in place with that part in there, like some of the others. Except for Liwa. Liwa's arm swings freely, which is weird. But I guess that's probably because he swings from vines and they want him to be able to raise his arm up. But I digress. That's not Tahu, that's Liwa. We're talking about Tahu here. Uh, so, like I said, he is the leader of the Toas. And apparently he is pretty hot-headed, pun intended, which isn't always a very good trait in a leader. Um, looking through the lore, he does end up going off on his own quite a bit, rushing into danger without thinking, you know. Not, not very good leadership qualities there, buddy. Uh, I don't really have any other big revelations to bring forth to all of you. Except I do kind of understand why he's a leader. And it all comes down to the Power Rangers. So if you think about it, 
these came out in 2001 and they were marketed to kids, mainly young boys. I myself was 10 years old when these came out, so I was the specific demographic for these toys. And what did I and many other people back then watch on TV a lot? The Power Rangers. The Power Rangers were a powerhouse back then. Um, I mean, they've lasted all the way up to here. It's been 20, I don't know how long, 20, 30 years or something like that. Um, I do remember when I was a little kid dancing to the opening theme for the Power Rangers episodes because that was pretty dope music. I mean, it's kind of the, the guitars and stuff. It's kind of like the X-Men opening theme just kind of the heaviest thing you ever heard back then unless your parents were into like metal and stuff like that which I'm sure most of us weren't uh but the Power Rangers their leader is the red guy and that was very popular so this seemed like a shoe in for them to just have the red guy the leader of this group because hey the uh the demographic likes that you know the research data indicates that the fire one is good to be the leader of this group. And I do say leader loosely because apparently they do a lot of their stuff individually, but then they come together with the power of friendship and learn to teamwork their problems away. Um, he's had several... Uh, different times where he was the one presented with like the new newfangled power mask. I know the the mask of time was given to him and then I was just reading the lore a little bit. He didn't actually show the rest of the team immediately. Hey guys, look, they just gave me the the mask of time. We should use this. No, it took a while and a few fights for him to say, "Oh yeah, guys, I forgot to tell you. I got this weird thing. Apparently it's called the mask of time." Yeah. And then some other stuff, but, you know, I'm kind of rambling about that. Uh, I'm not trying to say he's overrated or anything. I'm just saying that you got six people, all pretty powerful. You don't necessarily need a leader. You know, have a democracy. But check out the sword, man. Really cool design. Unfortunately, since it doesn't have a lot of material there it's not the strongest and so you can see there the tip is bent this is actually the least bent of the three that i have i think i don't even know where i got all the swords at i only have one tahu but i got like three of these swords that's the same with some of the other ones i've got parts to make the next line of these guys but then i also have parts past that where I have like duplicates of these, but not enough to build all six of them again. And I'm missing some pieces for him. It's like, honestly, I have no idea where I got all those extra parts, but I have them. So maybe at some point I'll do something with those. I don't have the canister for him or the instructions. Same with uh, two of the, well, I don't have the instructions for Gally, but I did just get the canister for her a couple days ago. I will probably pick up the instructions for her, and I'll have to get the canister instructions for him just to get everything completed. But that galley canister cost me $30. So, I don't know. I'm going to probably space it out. I've got a bunch of the other ones to do after this video. So, stay tuned for those. It's going to be kind of a long, long process of getting through all these Bionicles. Because... They had a lot of them. A whole bunch of different variations of the originals. A whole bunch of, like, different new characters, you know, filling in these roles. I think at one point you had the three different teams of Toa at the same time or something like that. Um, I don't know if there's anything else to say about him. Uh, he's cool. He's red. He's hot-headed. And... This is the last of the six original Toa. I hope you guys like these videos, and I will be doing more later. Um, so yeah, toodles.